welcome back and today we have a fabulous layout from um, design team layout for the wonderful Polish company who we are saying prayers for Poland and all of those overseas right now the craft the clock company and this is one of their new releases I didn't do any kind of unboxing with this but we'll definitely go over that now um, this is the hello little girl collection and all I have to say is, you guys, I love this company, and their products are phenomenal. I will have linked down below stores here in the States that carry the company. Uh, my lovely friend Sarah Scraps actually located that because she fell in love with it, and she's like, here's a store. <laughs> so, yeah, so it will be linked down below if you would like to pick any of this up. So, um... This is what I do at night when I'm wa watching TV with my husband. I fussy cut, and I've got a whole bunch of fussy cut items here. I just go through um, the junk journal. They call them an album, a junk journal extra. So this is the Hello Little Girl and all the pieces and fun stuff that come with that. So let's just dive in, and I will show you this. And they have reusable packaging, so on the so these you can cut out, and then on the back you have some cutouts. Everything is fussy cut, but totally fine. Look at all of this. Ooh, I love this. And I have fussy cut out a lot of these sheets, and I love their backgrounds. You guys, I just cannot say enough good things about this company. This is really cute, too, because you have, like, all of the months. Obviously, I don't have a little girl, so I don't need that, but the back is really, really pretty. Um... This is really good to do like a little wall a hanging and you put the picture in there. It's super cute. Um, so one side is Polish and one side is English. So like, you know, same here. One side is Polish. One side is English. Again. And then it repeats. So that is that pack. That's the album junk journal pack. And then we have this one right here, which is the Hello Little Girl Extra Set. And I have actually fussy cut out a lot of this, but it's the same exact pattern on the back. So I actually cut it out on the brown side because I, it gives you a very defined line as to where over here I'd probably mess up. And so many gorgeous florals, like, oh, and look at all this fun stuff. And I just go through every night and just cut out a little more here and there. And you guys are probably saying, Becky, you don't have a little girl. What are you going to use? And actually, these will all get cut out more. I'm just kind of filming early, getting my intro started. Um, but yeah, so then it's going to repeat again. We do have this one. This one and then more flowers. Uh, I do have a little girl. Her name is B. We all know B. Uh, this is just one of those ones that I've cut. So I've got all these die cuts that are already cut out. Here are oh, a little bit more there. And then you get the six by six paper pad and the eight by eight. So six by six, eight by eight. I am going to also pull in the quotes, baby girl quotes. So some of these aren't going to work. But it's okay. Whoa, there's already a cutout piece. And then I have, that's right, I have three of them, but that's okay. So I'm just going to flip through the 12 by 12 papers. And I'm telling you guys, this is like the thickest pattern paper. It is thicker than most card stocks I use. Yeah. So this is the Hello Little Girl 12 by 12 papers. Again, the back is usable. Um, no waste packaging, I guess you can say, because... You can cut apart all of that fun stuff. Then you have, look at these. Like, you don't need any mixed media, you guys. If you're definitely, like, a person that wants to do mixed media, but you're very scared, these papers are the way to go. And then, like, you know, they have this real, like, scene already created, and on the back is, like, pink wood gray. Oh, in love. And then you have all this fun stuff where it's already pretty much created for you. And then you have that beautiful heart paper. Another one of these. I mean, just everything. Like, oh, luscious. Love it. Love it. Oh, it's so cute. So I 
have no idea what I'm going to use today. I do know I'm going to pull a picture of Bee and scrapbook her because she is my baby girl. I have a lot more fussy cutting to do, which I will be doing the rest of the evening, which is totally fine. But that's what this goes in, and then this one goes in this one. So that is going to be my intro. Now I have to go fussy cuts and choose what papers I want, find a beautiful photo of my little girl, and figure out how we're going to jazz this layout up, right? So let me get some things sorted out, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have pulled this sheet right here, which... I've pulled three sheets. I've got number five, number one, and number six on the 12 by 12. I'm going to do this because I'm going to use three areas, like, you know, up here to kind of create a bit of a cluster. I just kind of want to get that right. Yeah. Feel like so we're gonna use baby as part of our title. So let's get that on this beautiful, beautiful paper. So I'm just going to run this right about here and layer the brighter yellow up on top of it and just splitting the difference and then trim off a little bit of the extra overhang okay so we do have my two photos I'm going to trim them up. I'm going to back them on these two pieces of paper, which are the 8x8, number 4, and number 1. And then I'm going to go through my big bag of cut apart. And basically what I want to do is jazz up this little area here and this little area here to just try to build up some layers and see if we can do something with, you know, the title area here or put a cluster up here as well. So not real sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but I am in the meantime going to go ahead and get these trimmed and matted in both of these beautiful papers because they're gorgeous. And the brown is going to bring in some more of the brown tones in the background and the pink will be another vibrant color to go with this really vibrant yellow. So give me a minute and I'll be right back with an update. All right, so I have went ahead and got a whole bunch of things on the layout. I've got my two photos stuck down. Um, a cute little tag, and then I kind of did an embellishment cluster here. I beefed up this embellishment cluster down here along with this one and added a few more up there. So, let's get some close-ups. I do have some things uh, popped up. That was a lot of fussy cutting going on. Absolutely enjoy it. It gives me something to do while I'm watching TV with the husband. But that's my baby girl right there, and this collection is so uber cute. So if you actually do have, like, like a human baby girl... <laughs> This collection would be fabulous for it, all in all. But I do have the little ballerina slippers. I've added um, the little onesie, a few stars and a cloud. I've added the bow on top of the dream catcher, titled Baby. Over here we've got a present, a little tab, a star. We've got two pictures. I've cut a clock in half and put one part there and one part there. This cute little mouse floating up on a balloon, another picture. I put in these gold elements in a few of the locations just to pop that up as well. Uh, we've got some bows popped up, a little rainbow, little sleeping stars, a button. The rulers you see me put on, then we have the tag with the little present, another giraffe. So there's a giraffe present in three different areas, a bottle, the clock, a little cute envelope, Little Mermaid. I have ran some of the things off the page on this side just to keep everything looking cohesive. I added a bow to the little giraffe's head and just kind of popped in a few little baby things here and there, just layering everything up. 
And then I think we are going to go ahead and put a few bits of paper. And I want to splatter this with some gold. So we're going to use, because I like to add the splatter, so we're going to use the gilt spray from Dina Weekly Gloss Spray just as a final touch. And I always come in with a little, my metal letter opener and um, stir it up just to get all that, everything that's settled on the bottom mixed up nicely. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to add splatters on the three areas. Is going to do it. So I have linked down below a store that carries the craft o'clock lines um, in here in the United States. Um, I don't know of any other places. Um, but yeah, I know that Etsy also has a plethora of them. So they will be all linked down there. That is the gold splattering. Just add a little bit to the layout. And that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you guys very, very much for taking this little journey with me of layering, fussy cutting, and all around and making a fabulous, a fabulous little um, videos or layouts to showcase my little girl who happens to be a puppy. So that is going to do it once again. Please remember to always be kind, and I will see you guys later with another video.